Welcome to Texas Media Systems. We're going to be looking at a three camera solution that involves a switcher as well as a high definition recording device. The cameras that we're using are the HM790. It's a high definition camera from JVC that has HDSDI out. The HDSDI output can be run up to 300 feet on RG6 cable that is typically terminated as BNC, so a BNC cable. The cameras have full size lenses which the lenses have rear controls. So the focus control is going to be able to be accessed from behind the camera, and it's extremely precise, as well as the zoom control, which would be on the other tripod handle. The cameras are run to the Panasonic AWHS50 switcher. The switcher has HDSDI inputs on the back of it. It also has a DVI input. And the DVI input is for graphics from a computer. So the computer might have DVI out, or it could have HDMI out, which in that situation is a passive cable. It doesn't require any kind of powered converters, but an HDMI out of the computer to DVI D in on the switcher will allow you to insert your graphics into your video feed. There's also another DVI port on the back of the switcher, which is for your multi-viewer. The multi-viewer can be done with a computer monitor, such as a 24-inch monitor, that will show you your feeds from all of your cameras, which you can have up to four, as well as your program and preview. The output of the switcher is HDSDI. Now, the HDSDI output of the switcher runs to AJA's Key Pro. The Key Pro is a solid-state, high-definition recording deck that has HDSDI in on the back, and then your audio input is going to be stereo XLR. The stereo XLR can be either mic level with phantom power or without phantom power or line level. So line level would be used if you're connecting to a mixer or a soundboard. Audio can be monitored on the front of the Key Pro. There's a headphone jack as well. Video can be monitored on the Key Pro through a local loop and HDSDI output that would run to a small HDSDI monitor such as the DataVideo TLM 700 HD. You want to make sure you're getting good clean audio and video before your production starts. On AJA's Key Pro, you can record for one hour at ProRes Proxy and it will fill up 20 gigs on the drive. ProRes Lite is 46 gigs on the drive. ProRes is 66 gigs. And then for one hour of ProRes HQ, you're going to take up 99 gigs on the drive. Now this is at 1920 by 1080, 30p, 60i, 24p is also available, which, you give, which will give you some space savings. And this drive here is 250 gigs. There's also 500 gig drives available. The Key Pro also has outputs that are available to run to other devices. So for a more complex setup, perhaps if you have video projectors as well, data projectors, you can take the HDMI out and run it perhaps 100 feet to a device such as Kramer's VP729. The VP729 has an HDMI input and then VGA output, which you can run up to 200 feet to a projector. And then you also have distribution amps available if you're running to more than one projector. And just for a point of reference, this is going to be 100 foot of HDMI cable, and it is directional. We offer custom quotes, so give us a call and let us know if there's something that you want us to put together for you and send out on your next job. Thank you.